Welcome everyone to my video. This is the first tutorial video I've created and today I'm going to teach you how to create a local electrical control system with a master override switch for Prison Architect. So this is very useful if you want to create sections of your prison that you want to be able to shut off power to but also have a master control switch to shut everything off uh, in the event of, say, like a riot or something. So let's get started. So I'm going to get uh, in a bunch more working just to make it go fast. And it exceeds our daily budget, so. Okay. So we're going to build our power real quick. And I'm going to put all a bunch of capacitors around it just because we're going to be using a bit of power with this, so. We got our sandbox prison going here, so money is no object. Okay, so as our prisoners go, we're going to be, as they're building that, we're going to be utilizing a logic circuit, power switch, and a logic bridge for this. Now, you can do this for any part of your prison, but uh, the place that I implemented it is in my laundry rooms so I have not had it happen yet but in the event of a riot or a laundry machine explosion if your workers go in to fix it and water and electricity is still on they will get electrocuted so it's nice to be able to shut off power just to that laundry room and not to the entire prison so what we're going to do for the purposes of this demo we're just going to use uh, door controls they're very easy to Actually, you know what? No, let's go ahead and set up a laundry machine. Uh, and we're going to need to find it here. So we're going to set up two laundry machines, and this will uh, this will simulate our two laundry rooms. So we got a laundry room there, and a laundry room here. Uh, and just because we are going to need water, just to show... Let me get our pipes. There we go. Okay. So this is definitely, when you implement this, it's something that you want to keep in mind if you plan on doing it while you are uh, planning out your prison because there are limits to, or limitations to where you can put these power switches. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave a gap right there and we're just going to connect up our power supply. And the reason we leave a gap is we're going to put a power switch in line, actually on the power line. Now what this will do is when this switch is turned off, it will disable power for everything beyond that switch. So anything that's connected over here. So each of our laundry rooms. And that's how we're going to limit our shutoff to just the areas that we want. So you can see when we turn it off, it disables power behind it. All right. And so this is going to be our inline switch and this is going to be remote operated. We actually won't be doing anything uh, turning on and off with that switch. So, the next thing that we want to do is we're going to create a local control switch, and this will be the one that you'll actually trigger. And so we're just going to create one here, and we're going to create one here. And so this will be the local switch for this room, and this one for this room. Okay, we're going to install a logic circuit, and this is going to be an AND circuit, or an AND gate. Now this is important, this actually has to go on the power lines itself, on the electrical cables, just like our power switches and there's a reason for that and I'll show you in a minute. So for each room we're going to have a power switch and this will be our manual switch and a logical circuit. Now the nice thing about this is the way it's set up you can do this as many times as you want. There's no limit to the number of sections that you control this way. So this would be a room, this would be a room and I don't think you can see my mouse as I'm doing this. Nope you can't. So um, Let's do it like this so that you can see it. Okay, so since we're building laundry rooms, so this all here would be a room, and this all here would be a room. And so you can do this as many times as you want. Like I said, there's no limit. You could set up 10 of these. So now that we got our local switch and our AND gate, there's two more things that we need to do. Okay. So we're going to go back into utilities and over here say we've got our control room. Control room. We're going to install our master override switch. 
Okay, and this is going to need... Uh, well, we're going to power it. And we're also going to put a logic bridge on the cable there. Okay, now what that logic bridge will do is it will send out a signal across our entire electrical network that our logic circuits are going to pick up. Okay, so as soon as that gets installed, you'll see it'll actually go blue here in a second because it will not have a signal coming into it. So now, we're sending the blue, or the off signal, across our entire electrical network. So, anywhere that this, uh, that is connected to this electrical grid will get this signal. So now, we're going to install our wires. Before we do that, uh, for some reason, it's being a little finicky right now, and I don't know if it's a bug or if it's uh, working as intended, but the wire connections, or the power switches don't actually send the signal that I need, so I have to route them through something else like a status light. So normally the way that this would do is we're going to connect our power switch to our bridge, and now you can see that sends the on signal. So that is actually working properly, and that worked in my game. Okay. And so this, this switch is picking up that signal. So we are also going to send, this is our manual switch for this room. We're going to connect. And then we're going to uh, connect this AND switch to this power switch. Because power switches can be controlled by wires. All right. And then so we're going to do the same thing over here. Hook that up and hook that up. Now, this, if... If it's not actually a bug and power switch is, uh, um, or if it is a bug and the power switches will send proper signals, this is actually all that we need in theory. So our, we've got, on our AND gate, we've got two signals coming in. We've got this manual switch coming in, and we've got the master switch coming in that is sent via the, via the logic bridge. So in theory, we would only need to switch one of these off, and we should lose power to this machine. Let's see if it's working. And see, this is what's not working right now. For some reason, it's not sending the off switch. Okay. Uh, and it is hit or miss with the master switch. It's See, that is working there. It still shows red, but it did send the off signal. So you can see here, our AND circuit is actually turned off right now because both of our inputs are not true. This input is true or on, and then our logic bridge is false. So that one's off. So it is sending the off signal to this switch. But again, it's being a little buggy for me, and I'm not sure if it's working, if that's intended or not. But this is how I go around that. So we're going to set a status light for this switch, and then for our automated switch. And so it's really simple. So we're just going to remove all of these cables here. And we're going to route the signal through the status switch. So as soon as our, or through the status light. As soon as our workers go, there we go. And one more. So we're going to send this signal to this light, and then the light into the AND switch. And then same thing here from the AND switch into the light, and then the light back to the signal. So this will actually turn off this laundry machine. You can see it flipped that switch already, and we have no power to that room. And so we do the same thing over here. We're going to go the switch to the light, light to the circuit, and then circuit to the light and to that switch. And now that switch automatically flipped off as well because our master control switch is off. And that's all that we need. If your logic bridge doesn't work, you can actually install a status light here as well. So you can kind of see your overall status for the, the whole system. So we're going to connect it there, and then go there. And so that's all that there is to it. Uh, is it going to show the wires here? Oops. Nope, that's not what I need. Okay. I think we're connected, because it's that's clear connections. Let's try it one more time. There we go. Okay, sometimes the wires don't always show up. And it might just be because it's such a short switch. But that is our entire system. So it is working right now. So if we flip our master switch back on, you can see these are our local switches. They are on right now. But the system is off because our master switch is off. We turn the master switch on. It sends the signal. The AND gate turns on because it is now receiving two true signals. The logic bridge is on. 
and our local bridge, or our local switch is on, so it sends the on signal to this status light, which relays the signal to the power switch, it flips back on, and this room comes on. If we just want to turn off the one room, we flip off that one, and it goes off. Because again, our AND circuit is not receiving two on inputs, or uh, better yet, all of the inputs coming into this AND bridge are not true. One of them is false, and so it sends a false output, which turns it off. And our other laundry room is on. So we turn that back on, it comes back on, and again, our master override switch, switch takes a second, everything goes off, they're both out. So this is very useful, that like I said, you can control just certain rooms of your prison and control the power to those rooms by installing this setup and you can do it in as many rooms as you would like. This switch actually cannot be accidentally turned off because of your AND gate. It's controlled there. So even if we tried to turn it off, the AND gate would turn it back on. And if we turned it off here, it's going to send it off and we can't turn it or we turn it back on and it should not actually be allowed to turn back on because of the AND gate there. Interesting. So you can accidentally turn it on, but you can't accidentally turn it off because of that. So uh, maybe I'll address that or figure that out in another video or if someone wants to uh, work that part out in the comments. That one's not too bad though, turning it back on accidentally. Um, I suppose that could be problemental or problematic, problemental. If uh, you accidentally turn the power switch back on uh, while the room is busted and flooded and your repairmen are in and then you electrocute them all. But So that was my goal for this, is being able to shut off one section or one laundry room at a time. And then in the event that there's an issue there, or if there is a riot breakout in the prison, you've got your master control or, or what some people refer to as a riot switch that would turn everything off and both laundry rooms go off. So that way they do any damage, there's no problems there. But the nice thing about implementing it this way is say we've got our door control right here and we're gonna wire that up. We'll let our workers go. And that big strong worker is gonna carry it in and it's all set up. There we go, okay. So our door control is on, it's actually red because there's no guard manning it right now. But the nice thing about this system is when we turn off the master switch, it does not turn off this door control system. It will not turn off anything else. Our water pump still has power, our door control system has power, because we're sending the master signal via a logic bridge and not actually turning off the entire system, having to go in and sever links or do anything like that since it's going via this logic bridge and there's not a logic circuit interrupting or intercepting this signal that's sent to the door control system or anywhere else for that matter these systems don't receive that off command and therefore don't turn off so it will only turn off sections where we have a logic circuit in place if we were to take this circuit out this system stops working for this room so that's a good way to control the rooms via a local control switch, a master riot control switch via the use of logic circuits, and a logic bridge. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, learned something, and put it to uh, use in your prison. If you like the video, you can like us, subscribe on YouTube, leave a comment, and we hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.